sense, I mean, I think the changes are, a lot of them are, are primarily technical, frankly. Um, I don't think the, the, I can think of, I don't think a great deal has changed in terms of what I'm asked to do in the show, in terms of lyric changes. I have a couple little things here and there, but not much. Uh, or structural changes. I mean, I, I think the show at the National was uh, very good. So we want to maintain all of that. But um, this is a much more intimate space. And it's also a space where, you know, the, at the Olivier, it's, it's a, a more of a thrust space, and this is more of a proscenium space. So the way you share, the way you share, it, excuse me. <laughs> Nobody could compete with your voice. <laughs> uh, I, the, the way you share information with an audience, how much or how little you have to do, where you point something is a little bit different. But other than that, I, w I would say that it just gets, you know, you, you just try to just go a little deeper and become more vulnerable. And I think it, the way, for, for my character, uh, the, way, the ways we c can take the wrong road in trying to get what we want in life, in particular what we all want, which is to be loved, and, in, and especially to be loved by the people that we love the most. I can't remember, you know, things were attributed to Einstein that Einstein never said, and this probably wasn't Einstein, but some great scientist or someone said, you know, all I really ever wanted was to be loved by my parents. I did all of this because they praised me when I, you know, was good at science. So what Hades does is he, he's got this wife who leaves for six months of the year, who really doesn't seem to care. And she doesn't write when she's gone. She's having a good time up there. And, uh, and that, that can make you go mad. And so I try all of the wrong things. I try to wall her in. I try to shackle her. I try to impress her by building things, by acquiring things, by acquiring more souls, um, by seducing a younger, beautiful woman to show her that I'm still potent and attractive. And of course, none of those things work. And the thing that does work is making yourself vulnerable again. And um, that's what Orpheus teaches me. And so that's, to me, what I take away from it as my journey in the play. How does the wall keep us free, my children? My children, how does the wall keep us free? Yeah, I mean, Amber and I, I don't mean to speak for her, but I've, I've just always felt really comfortable with her, and she's a brilliant actress, and by that I mean that when I say someone is a brilliant actor, what I mean almost always is that they're responsive, that what they do depends on what I do, and what I do depends on what they do so that nothing can ever be the same because in sometimes infinitesimal ways, things are changing from night to night. And there's an alertness to the tiniest change that then gives me a change. It's like playing tennis with a great partner. So, uh, and the more comfortable you become with someone, the fewer inhibitions you have, um, the more the easier that gets. So working with somebody over a long period of time, knowing them. And when I look at her, you know, I, I kind of see Persephone. And I have to remind myself, especially when we're in the run, and I usually don't see her until she's in the wig and in the costume. And then I'll see her, you know, afterwards. I'll go, oh, yeah, I remember you. You're Amber, because I'm mostly seeing Persephone. I, I absolutely adore working with them. And I, I, I hesitate to point out, because it should just be the way the world is, but, it, but the fact that they are women is, is, is unfortunately still uh, an oddity, something of an oddity in the theater world. I was just talking to someone else and I realized that in a 35 year career, uh, 25 of those years on Broadway, I have only worked with three female directors 
Julie Taymor, Rachel Chapkin, and Libby Apple. And um, that's out of hundreds of shows. And it, it really brought me up short as to how much work there is still to do. Um, but uh, it could just be that they're geniuses and they're brilliant, or it could have something to do with their gender. But they bring uh, a kind of openness, uh, a lack of ego, lack of having to prove anything, uh, just doing the work. And at the same time, understanding and keeping in perspective the fact that the work only matters if people are respectful and kind and if coming to work is something that we enjoy doing. Um, there can be brilliant people who place the value of the work so high that they make life miserable for everyone else. You can place it that high and still be kind. Um, and so, you know, they, they, you know, they're just a joy to work for and, and with. And you, never, you never feel you're working for them. You feel you're working with them. And that's part of the joy of it is that they, they are so open to and so wel welcoming of uh, collaboration.